Hi, I'm Rhonda. Welcome to You Never Know Bakery. Today I'm going to show you a really nice Greek dip, tzatziki. Very easy to make and actually a lot faster these days now that we've got the Greek yogurt in the market. Uh, take a look at my ingredients here. What I've got is 500 ml of Greek yogurt. I've got some fresh mint. That's optional by the way. I have grated uh, cucumber. Now the cucumber is English cucumber and I choose to leave the skin on. People take it off, but I like it on. I've grated it and I've sat it over a bowl. Take a look at how much juice has come out of here. Now that's set to go. I've got minced garlic and that's about all the ingredients there are. I'm going to show you a trick about how to squeeze this out here. There's lots of water in cucumber, a lot. So what I like to do is I take it and I'll throw it right into a cheesecloth just like this. And I'm going to gather up the sides. And it just makes it really, really easy to squeeze all that excess juice. And by the way, when I put it in the colander, I actually sprinkled it with salt. That's another trick to be able to get more water to extract out of it. But take a look there. It's so much easier to handle with that cheesecloth. Okay, so just like that. And it's completely rolled out. Just a ball of cucumber now. That's going to go right in. Okay, the mint's going to go in, or sorry, not the mint, the minced garlic's going to go in, but I want to talk to you really quickly about that. Take a look at the garlic here. You see there? See that little green thing? That's where you get your bitterness from. So you really want to get rid of it. You want to cut it right out. See that? Cut out both sides. Uh, the garlic, no matter what the size is, will have that in the center. And then you can go from there for mincing it. Okay, so all we got to do now is give this a stir, just like this. This is a dip, by the way, that does take time to get the flavors to develop together. I suggest that you make it and you let it sit overnight. Um, then you'll get a really nice, strong garlic with it. It's really quite refreshing. I like putting mint in it because it bumps that up again for that nice refreshing taste to it. You can use so many different things with it. Uh, I personally like to use cucumber, carrot, celery, that type of stuff for dipping. And if you're going to use this, Take a look, just take your leaves, just like this, and you're gonna roll it like a cigar. Just like that, and we're gonna give it a chop. All the way down. And a little goes a long way when it comes to mint, so don't go overboard on it. I just wanna brighten up the taste a tiny, tiny bit. So there, take a look. How easy is that? Good to go. Now, just gonna put some saran over top. You're gonna leave it in the fridge, like I said, a minimum 12 hours. I mean, if you rush, you're having a party at the night time, you wanna do it the same day, do it first thing in the morning, you'd be good for the night, but I like doing it the day before. Okay, so take a look at this. This is what I made yesterday. I plated it. Look at how nice and thick that is. I've used the Greek yogurt, and that Greek yogurt's awesome. Back in the day, you used to have to strain the yogurt in cheesecloth to get all the excess whey out. You don't have to do this with the Greek, it's fantastic. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this one, and e easy to make. Please do try to make it. Uh, use pita chips with it, anything you want. We've got pita right here at the store. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.